Now, she's as passionate about mental health as she is about comedy. Ruby Wax's latest show in the West End combines both. Say New World is described as a tour of the brain and how to tame it. She'll also be holding three drop-in sessions with health professionals so people can get help and advice on mental health issues. Well, I'm very pleased to say Ruby Wax uh, joins us here in the studio. Thanks. Um, something that I read which was really interesting, so I wanted to ask you about it straight off. You say it's it's like having a Ferrari on top of your head, but no one gave you the keys. We know that you're passionate about mental health. Well, it isn't so. I'm talking about the brain, which is a little known subject. I mean, we know so much about technology, but nothing about how this thing works. You know, that's why our thoughts are jumping all the time, jumping like moths, I always say, on cocaine. So it's the mind is running us, we're not running it. So of course I'm fascinated with it. And we do more, know more about our iPhones. So I always say it's like we have a Ferrari on our heads but nobody gave us the key. So I try to give you a little journey of how your mind works and where the ignition is and where the brakes are and how to push down the turbo. And I was so curious about that, that I, because <laughs> I needed material. So I went to Oxford and then graduated two years ago where I studied this stuff. So I'm doing what my hero Bill Bryson does, which is you take a subject that's fascinating and then you spin it with comedy. Which very, is very the greatest. interesting. But it's also been your dream, hasn't it, to, to offer centres like this? And I think mm. you have done it once before, Well, my the drop-in centres. I have. my. Sh this show starts on the 19th of January to the 17th. Uh, to the, yeah, the 17th of February. And every Wednesday, starting on the 27th, we're going to have uh, walk-in sessions where the public can come in free during the afternoon between 2 and 4. And I'll have a kind of uh, tribe of therapists. And then I'll have great speakers. There's an expert on sleep. And then there's Peter Fonagy. So that people have, you know, can meet their own people. Because doing the show for the last three years, we're not even talking about people with mental problems. The general population is frazzled and have nowhere to talk. You know, we don't have community centers. So um, here they can sort of say, you know, a teenager can say, I'm burning out. Somebody at work can say, I don't know what to do with a coworker. And then there'll be a point of reference. And after these three Wednesdays, after I finish the show in the West End, I'm going to roll it out to the rest of the United Kingdom because Alcoholics Anonymous have their centers. And I always think, how did they do it? They drink. Um, so now, those of us who find it difficult, you know, to, that life is such a frenzy of busyness, and we have those inner critical thoughts giving us the worst reviews. Um, so now we have a place we can maybe uh, meet. So in the days on Wednesday, and then my show at night. But the day one is free. Now, can I ask, how much do you think we've progressed in terms of uh, the stigma surrounding mental health and issues of stress? Well, um, people are now standing up in the theater and saying, you know, I, I have a problem. I'm not as, you know, I am vulnerable, which is a few years ago, everybody was fine. People would say, perk up if you were having a problem. Perk up, because you didn't think of that. Mm. So now there is a kind of a groundswell, but it needs to go a little bit further so that they're not discriminated against at, at work, because that's the problem. If you feel yourself going down, good luck holding your job. Mm, and there is so power. There is power in community. So that's another reason to yes, me. Yes, you talk about st strength in numbers. Um, now, last week, uh, Ruby, many people who who didn't even necessarily know uh, Alan Rickman felt a, a deep sense of loss. But he was a close friend of yours, wasn't he? And you ended up cancelling one of your shows, I believe. Uh, yeah, I cancelled a show. I mean, you know, I've known him thirty years, and he was my brother, my father, my husband. So I have just a g gap in my heart. And for my career, it wouldn't have happened if he didn't say, stop acting. We were in the Royal Shakespeare Company and people were throwing little notes at me saying, do not get on the stage ever again. I'm, I'm in a show at Stratford. And Rickman said, write comedy. <laughs> so um, he was the one who said, just write the way you speak. So, um, and then he directed every show I did for the next 25 years. So. Okay. I will be, I'm, we're all bereft. Oh, well, thank you very thank much you. indeed uh, for being here. Ruby Wax, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks.